Greetings! Today's biology exercise is about the differences between the centipedes and millipedes. These, well, wait. Uh, well, well, these are two types of myriapods. Uh, that is, arthropods, and so on. But, well, these are two critters that we can meet or see in our homes. First, let's see, what is their habitat? Now, I will search the words uh, from the top. I can move them. And now I know that millipedes like wet environment and the centipedes in general like a red environment. That is now the next characteristic is uh, are they bite? Well, the interesting thing is that the centipedes actually bite. Well, they cannot uh, bite a human. Well, they may try if uh, a human can catch it because the centipedes are very fast. Uh, but, uh, well, because they are predators, they need to bite their prey. The, for the difference, the millipedes actually don't bite. Well, because we will later see that they don't need to bite. Alright, the next characteristic is the spiracles direction. Now, the centipedes... Let's see where is that. Uh -huh, there it is. The the direction of the centipedes is at the side of the body, so their legs go to the sides, while the millipedes have their spiracles under their body. If you can see in the picture, well, they look uh, like a caterpillar, but they are not actually, and their legs are under the body. Huh. Now let's see legs per body segment. Uh, I forgot that. Now I think... I, I think... Ah, well, I know that actually. Uh, so the centipedes... Centipedes have one pair of legs per body segment and the millipedes have two pairs of legs on per body segment. segment. Now let's see the leg extension. Now the centipedes have uh, right I found the millipedes so the millipedes are with the short legs okay they are short legs <laughs> short legs and the centipedes should have uh, long legs actually I believe these long legs makes them so scary so scary scary mm. all right so, the next characteristic is the feeding habit. And there we can see that uh, the centipedes are predators, so they hunt other bugs, including roaches and mosquitoes, which makes them desirable for the house. Of course, as long as they hide from plain sight and not scare people. <laughs> that is. And uh, the millipedes are scavengers. So they they eat what they find on their way. Right. The next characteristic is the movement of these creatures. Now the centipedes move fast. Actually, it is uh, pretty impossible to catch a centipede, while millipedes are slow and you can catch one, but uh, it is not, again, desirable. Uh, well, uh, they, well, well, we will see now with their defense mechanism. Now the, the millipedes curl or, well, curl on bow or two bows, and they sometimes stink. So if you touch it, it may stink and you have to wash your hand. While centipedes usually run and some of them have uh, 
a weak venom. Again, it is meant for their praise, not for humans. So this venom is not uh, too harmful, harmful for humans. But yet, it is not desirable to touch these creatures. 